so like everything in nature, bubbles are just trying to economize. They're trying to get as small as they possibly can. But in the case of bubbles, they can do it perfectly. A single bubble in the air is always a sphere. At first sight, it seems obvious that the bubble should be round. But why is the sphere so special? The sphere is one surface, no corners, infinitely symmetrical. Of all the shapes this bubble could be, the sphere is the one with the smallest surface area, which makes it the most efficient shape possible. And it is because nature loves to use her resources effectively that we can see spheres everywhere we look. The Earth is round because gravity pulls the planet's bulk into a ball around its core. Water forms into spherical droplets. The shape minimizes the amount of surface tension needed to hold the droplet together. And a spherical shape gives simple life forms, like this volvox plankton, optimal contact with their surrounding environment. But not everything is spherical. And because bubbles are so thin and flexible, we can use them to create other shapes. So a single bubble in the air is always a sphere. But if they touch each other, they can save material for both of them by sharing a common wall. And so they do. If they can save surface area by taking advantage of their environment, they will. So when you've got just one bubble, the sphere is the most efficient shape. But as we add more bubbles, we see the geometry changing. So in this case, we've got four bubbles, and you can see them meeting at a point. But put a shape in the middle, we don't get a spherical bubble. We get, in fact, a little tetrahedron. With four faces, they're not exactly flat, they're parts of spheres. But each time the, the bubbles are trying to find the most efficient shape for the arrangement of bubbles. So now we've got six bubbles, we've got a little cube appearing in the middle. This is nature's laws at work. The universe is always trying to find the most efficient solution it can. And as we pop them, the bubbles change, finding the most efficient, until we're left with a sphere again. It has no choice. <laughs> but what's most remarkable is that those solutions are so often neat geometric shapes. Wow, that's a dodecahedron. That's fantastic. And they're mm -hmm. almost perfect pentagons, aren't they? That's they really are. surprising. They're not bulging really very much at that's all. Right. That's right. So because... 12 bubbles around make 12 faces and the most economical shape that they can make the lowest energy is the dodecahedron, isn't it? Yeah.